The first and most awaited season of Tulsa King is here, and it looks like there's a lot to unwind. Coming from Yellowstone's Taylor Sheridan, this show stars Sylvester Stallone and, well, it sure is a masterpiece. Recently, Andrea Savage, who appears in the series, talked about a thing or two, and that's what we'll be discussing. And needless to say, this video is all about spoilers. So let's get started. First up, here's what happened. Starring Sylvester Stallone, Tulsa King has definitely made its way through our hearts, and we're in for it. The show is a work of art, and we love the quality of all of it. We wonder what you thought after watching the first episode, but it sure as heck is great. On top of that, as soon as we finish one episode and start watching the next, it's made clear that it's one of the best performances that Stallone has ever given. Not just that, we believe that the finale was also up to par, and it definitely did much better than we expected of it. In the finale, we saw how ATF officer Stacy Beale, portrayed by Andrea Savage, betrayed Stallone's Dwight and set him up for a good deed that he was trying to do for her. It was an illegal one, but it was still a good deed. While Dwight was getting arrested, Stacy had now started to uphold every single law that she had been on Dwight's behalf, and her own too. From what we think, it seemed like the ATF was making decisions that it'd end up being not so helpful. And when Andrea Savage was asked about how this would affect her character and Dwight's dynamics, she had some interesting stuff to share. Up next, here's what the actress stated. In an interview with Cinema Blend, the actress said that she thinks Stacy is on some kind of journey, a journey where she wakes up and goes like, listen, maybe I made mistakes, but now I'm standing here. And if any of those changed, I wouldn't maybe be here. The actress also said that her character is is alcoholic, and she might not be making the best choices of all time. Not just that. According to her, Stacy is simply hanging on and trying to survive. And the way the season ended, it seemed like they were on a collision course between two people who made choices to survive. And well, she also stated that they might have pissed off the wrong people. Not to mention, they might have pissed off another person. Following up, who is this third person? While we already know the two people Savage was talking about, we'll have to do some digging to know who this third person was. If you remember the scene where Dwight was being arrested and taken away, there was someone who witnessed all of this, and that was his daughter. Tina Manfredi, who had already lost a long time that she could have spent with her father, and now she was shocked that the same thing was happening yet again. After all, she had to spend 25 years without seeing her father since Dwight was up the river. She was scared and horrified in that scene and was continuously staring at her dad when they took him away in the squad car. And when she had asked him about the entire situation, he had simply gestured towards Stacy, saying that she should ask her about it. While she spent 25 years silently growing up without her father, it doesn't seem like she'll be spending any more time like that. Tina might end up making things a bit more complex once we see her again. Not just that, Savage also talked about Tina's character. The actress was asked whether her character had her hand full with Tina, who's definitely vengeful and will go after everyone who's hurt her family. To which Savage replied that in season two, she thinks that this might come to that point and it might become a problem. But then again, she said she had no idea. According to her, she was as oblivious as anyone else and no one had really shared any information with her yet. Well, we wish she knew something about it, but it is what it is. The problem is she didn't even know anything about the second season. In fact, she couldn't really tell if the show would return or not. Up next, let's find out if the show has been canceled. Well, everything from the finale has indicated a renewal and a second season dropping soon, but some fans thought they might end up canceling the show, since the cliffhanger that we were left with could actually be considered an ending as well. But with all that success, we don't see any reason that could convince Paramount Plus to cancel the show at all. No wonder they have already somewhat announced a renewal and that the show will be back with another season soon. Soon, but we really can't consider it an official announcement since it was just a prediction. Paramount executives had predicted that this show would make it big, and well, it definitely did. And 
became Paramount's second biggest show. The only show that's ahead of it is 1923. Now, let's have a look back at the first season. Don't say that we didn't inform you beforehand. This video was going to be all about spoilers. And to understand what the second season would look like, we must look into the first season once again. The season features Dwight Manfredi, who's just gotten out of federal prison after spending 25 years there because of a murder he didn't really commit. But now, he's all alone since his mafia family and his real family both don't want or need him around. Because of all this, his boss sends him to Tulsa, where he's supposed to get a fresh start. But going there all alone seems wrong to him. Yet still, he somehow manages to go and then introduces an old school New York City mobster swagger to the locals. There, he goes on to set up a team for himself. This team or crew includes a former Invernizzi soldier named Manny and a driver named Tyson. Manny had left his life behind moved to Tulsa years ago and only got back into the mess when Dwight came to town. From there on, the whole gang joins hands with a weed dispensary owner and partners for a money laundering venture. But at the same time, Dwight ends up sparking a bit of a romance with Stacy Beal, who's in fact an ATF agent. You can imagine what happens when a criminal and a security official become a thing. Something bad happens, and so it did. We won't get into too many details, but the finale was all about it. She did what any one with her job would do. Next, here's what we think the next season will look like. Well, we don't really know exactly what will happen in the next season, but we can always make some guesses, since that's what we're good at. The next season would be more about the aftermath of Dwight's arrest. We'll see some legal trouble, and might as well make some rounds to the jail as well as the court. For Stacy, we have a feeling that her condition might worsen. Since she's already pretty messed up, it all makes sense. The legal trouble will open up ways for new characters to enter the scene. And at the same time, it'll also allow the show to explore some new storylines. Yeah, you got it right. We might end up getting some new cursed romance as well. So hold tight. On top of that, we're not expecting Chicky to be disrespected by Dwight. Also, Dwight won't be able to walk away from his past and his family easily. The conflicts that were not at their peak in the first season will rise up to boil out of the pot. And this might give us a bigger mess to witness. So the second season season will tell us all about the extremes to which every one of the characters can go, especially Tina. We wonder if she'd turn into the villain or something. Following up, here's what we know about the potential release date. For now, we don't have an official release date. Well, you might think we have some rumored ones, but unfortunately, we don't even have that at the moment. The showrunners haven't even hinted at it yet, but we'll make sure to update you about it as soon as we get some information. The first season was officially announced and confirmed back in December. 2021. They took their time and started filming in the summer of 2022, and we got to watch the show in November 2022. So it's safe to say that the show really didn't take too long to be filmed and released. Given the pattern, we can hope for them to announce the show this year and get to watch it in 2024. But it could arrive sooner than that, too. What if it's released in November 2023? We can hope for that. And if we talk about a trailer, we don't have anything in that regard either so far. Lastly, here's what we know about the cast. Well, in the first season, we didn't see any of the main characters die. All of them were good and healthy. So yes, they should be back to reprise their roles. Stallone will be back as Dwight. Andrea should also return as State and we will also see Max Casella as Armand Terzi. Not just that, Martin Starr is all set to return as Bodhi, while Dominic Lombardozzi will reprise his role as Charles Chicky in Bernizzi. Vincent Piazza, Jay Will, and Garrett Hedlund should also be back as Vince Antonacci, Tyson Mitchell, and Mitch Keller, respectively. And well, Dana Delaney and A.C. Peterson also have some stuff to handle since their characters, Margaret Devereaux and Pete Invernizzi, aren't done with the storyline yet. Lastly, we also hope to see Tatiana Zappardino as Tina Manfredi again, as she might be the one to lead the story onwards now. Apart from that, as we mentioned earlier, we're also hoping to see some new faces this upcoming season. We don't know who they will be and what roles they'll play, but it's a given since there must be some addition to keep the story going. And with this, it's time for us to wrap it up. What do you think about this video? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We'll be back with more amazing videos soon. See you in the next one.